here. Food, equipment, clothing and the essentials for living are flowing into the fire-ravaged island. From all over the world, aid in the form of money and goods is helping to put stunned Tasmanians back on their feet. Red Cross and other welfare workers keep hard at it to restore hope for people who lost everything in the raging inferno, fanned by high winds which swept across the island. Scenes such as this were commonplace. Many died. More than 600 homes and farms were destroyed. Desperate efforts to save belongings were futile. Too often, all that could be done was to stand and watch as a precious home died in the flames. Now the flames have gone. Ships from the mainland bring in supplies and the fight for recovery is on. Help is on the way. But Tasmanians can never forget the horror of the enveloping flames that took their homes and loved ones. 